I am here to tell you and teach you everything you need to know about making a great lemon berry mule. This is one of our signature cocktails. It features our homemade ginger beer, our lemon berry infused vodka, beautiful fresh mint, beautiful berry skewers. It's got so many great things going on. It's all about the details. And so let's kind of deconstruct it a little bit. We're going to start to talk a little bit about our ginger syrup. So I want to show you some key ingredients. We make our ginger syrup from scratch. We use whole ginger and we actually have the ginger skin on. There's a great deal of vitamins and flavor in the skin and it's fresh raw ginger. And then we also have raw sugar. Raw sugar isn't so refined like a white sugar. It's got a little bit more of the molasses, the minerals, again, a lot more flavor in it. And then we use whole spices. We don't use ground spices. So for instance, whole nutmeg. We're just gonna crush this with a knife. When we're making our syrup, we've got star anise. There's also cinnamon and allspice in there as well, cardamom, and then vanilla bean. Vanilla bean is the second most expensive spice in the world after saffron. We use whole vanilla bean, actually 15 vanilla beans in a batch of our ginger syrup. So that is a base for our mule to make our homemade ginger beer. We also have these beautiful berry skewers. Now these are made each day because we've got to keep them fresh. And you'll notice we have a blueberry, then a raspberry, then a blueberry. The blueberries hold the raspberry in, in place. If not, the raspberry would kind of slide up and down. And you want that right in the middle of that bamboo skewer. These look beautiful in a martini glass right on your bar top. Now you'll notice the mint as well. The mint is extremely fresh. This is so when a guest walks up to a bar, they're automatically thinking, wow, we're at IPIC, we're at a fresh bar. They want to have something signature and it's going to help them to order something that's really special. If someone orders a vodka soda, there's nothing wrong with it. But where else can, get they, can they get a vodka soda? Anywhere. But a lemon berry mule with homemade ginger beer, it's an IPIC signature. When they see the mint, they know that there's that, that care. And it's very important. We'll go through a, on a separate video the whole process of making the ginger syrup and the mint. But it's part of that bar top. And again, it screams freshness. and It's going to help you sell more cocktails. Now, we have our highball glass as well. You want to make sure it's clean, polished, and also that it's cool. If this just came out of a glass washer, you would want to fill it up with ice first and let it chill for just a few minutes before you make your cocktail because you can't put a cold drink in a hot glass. It's not going to last and it's not going to stay nice and fresh. Okay, now let's talk a little bit about the lemon berry vodka. New Amsterdam, this is our house vodka. This is a premium American vodka made from wheat and we infuse it with rare tea cellar lemon berry tea. This is amazing tea. This was named the North American best iced tea in the country by the tea championships. We put that, we put honey, and infuse that into our New Amsterdam. Now, as an upsell, we also do the same thing with Grey Goose. Lemon berry infused Grey Goose, a little bit of honey, and this is a perfect upsell. This is our best selling vodka in the company. It's a beautiful luxury vodka made from wheat grown in the center valleys of France by a cognac distiller. It's a beautiful product and it's a great upsell. If you've already got them on the lemon berry mule, hey, would you like to luxury that with a little bit of our Grey Goose lemon berry infusion? It's again, something unique to IPIC. All right, so now that we have our ginger syrup made, we also have our lime juice, we have what we make that we call mule mix. So this is very important. This goes in a storm pour in your well and this is three parts, so one, two, three parts of homemade ginger syrup, one part of lime juice, and that is mixed together. Now what this does is this way you don't have to go and pour ginger syrup and then lime. They're all blended together. It also helps keep the lime juice more fresh and it's gonna make a more consistent drink. We'll also be able to make them faster so we have that better chance to get a guest a beautiful handcrafted cocktail soon and also be able to get that second sale. All right, so the next little detail is our lime. So you want to pick limes that are nice and fresh. They're heavy for their weight, nice and green all the way around because you want that nice, beautiful, sexy lime because that's what the guest is going to see. It's again going to tell them about the quality of everything going on. Now you're going to hold the lime by its north and south poles. You're going to cut it just off center. You're going to roll that clockwise just off center again, clockwise again just off center, and one more time clockwise. And now you'll notice I have the center part of the lime in my hand. And I'm going to throw this away, but I'll show you why. If I cut this in half, you see in the middle there is a white pith that's very, very bitter. It doesn't taste good at all. So we don't want that going in our guest cocktail. And now you see these lime wedges. They're beautiful and they're nice and juicy. There's no pith in there at all. 
You've also got the nice green lime on the outside. And now we're going to do just a little bit of a slit so they can sit on the side of our glass. It's OK that they're not absolutely perfectly the same shape because they're beautiful and they're juicy, and that's what's important. Now, that bigger lime half, we're going to cut that one in half because it's a little bit too big. Again, a little bit of slit in there. And those are limes. These should be cut every shift. If these sit together overnight, they're going to start browning on the outside. And the guest's first impression is going to be that, oh, they're using old fruit. They may not go for a signature cocktail. We're a premium luxury movie theater company. And we want guests to have a beautiful, fresh, beautiful lime. All right. So now uh, my glass is nice and, and cool. Again, you don't have to chill every glass if it's already cool. But if it is, put some ice in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump that ice out because I want to have nice, fresh ice in here. And I'm going to fill this all the way to the top, absolutely to the top of the glass with ice. And now the first thing I'm going to put in here is I'm going to put in our club soda. All right, and I'm going to go halfway full. Now the reason I'm doing this first, the club soda is the lightest thing in here. Everything else is heavier. And that carbonation naturally is going to want to rise up. And I want to have this cocktail really mixed with gravity, a little bit of science, a little Bill Nye the science guy here with us. And that way we keep the carbonation in. Now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to do our lemon berry vodka. And so you'll notice when I take my jigger, it's between these two fingers. And so I still have my thumb and forefinger together. So now I can still do other things with my hands. If I picked up my jigger like this, I'm only down to one hand. All right, so jigger always like that. I'm going to do 45 milliliters, which is, you got it right, an ounce and a half. And that's going to go right in here. And now that goes right on top of my club soda. And the way we've engineered this, because everyone has the same size glass, and you again want to make sure it's full of ice, so you may want to put one more ice cube in there. I've got my 45 mils. I don't even have to measure the mule mix. This is how awesome this is. This is my three parts ginger syrup, my one part lime juice. That goes right on top. And because this is heavier than the vodka, it's going to sink into the vodka. It's going to sink into the club soda. The club soda is coming up because it's carbonated. And you see, it's practically mixed itself. This way, you keep the carbonation in, saves a step. Beautiful, fresh cocktail, really nice and fast. I'm going to give a quick taste just to make sure it's perfect. Delicious. You've got that ginger, a little bit of vanilla in there. You've got some fresh lime kind of balancing it out. You've got that great homemade ginger beer, which is such a signature. It makes us different. And that lemon berry vodka, it's amazing. It's a little bit of tea, but it's lots of beautiful berries in there. And now we're going to bring it to life a bit more. A nice fresh lime right here on the side. And then our berry skewer. And remember, we have the blueberries on the outside, the raspberry in the middle, so that's not sliding around. And then a little bit of mint. So we're going to pick a really beautiful sprig of mint. Put that palm of your hand, a little slap that's going to wake it up, get all those aromas going. And this is going to go right behind. And again, it's like you're, you're decorating a Christmas tree. You want to have this drink looking absolutely beautiful to your guests. And that is the Lemon Berry Mule at IPIC with an upsell for $3. You can also do the Grey Goose Lemon Berry Vodka. And that's, again, homemade ginger beer here at IPIC.